Many of those who generated early examples of image in English insisted on the difference between image and mere description. But their definitions of image, especially in the distinction between image and other rhetorical figures, tend to be more evocative than they are precise. Image tends to have an analogical component resembling that in simile or metaphor. Sometimes an image contains an explicit simile or metaphor, sometimes not. Image also tends to be highly descriptive. What distinguishes image from description, as far as I can see, is multiplicity presented as a challenge. Something has been split and has to be fused in the imagination. Literal description is the most direct representation of an object at the level of complexity beyond mere labeling. A definition in Wikipedia, for example, describes roses as climbing plants or trailing plants, often prickled, their flowers fragrant, large and showy, in colors ranging from white through yellows and reds. The multiplicity of features noted in this description is a simple fact of recording detail. T.S. Eliot, when he describes a memory of approaching and entering a rose garden at the beginning of Four Quartets, complicates literal information about the memory of a place by using analogy to specify a set of parallel relationships. Footfalls echo in the memory down the passage which we did not take towards the door we never opened into the rose garden. My words echo thus in your mind. The description in the first sentence, though it refers to objects and memory, is as literal as the description of the rose before. But the analogy in the second sentence is figurative in that it requires the reader to analyze a set of abstract relationships arbitrarily imposed by the author's imagination. The resemblance is far-fetched in its literal logic, but the unifying analogy is offered as a revelatory imaginative truth. <laughs>